next question. I wanted to reference something that you wrote in a blog in September, in August rather, that I thought was absolutely beautiful and really makes me think about this idea of transitioning, which is what our next question is gonna be about. Um, you wrote in um, a teacher to teacher blog, it's August and you've spent all summer chugging up that first hill of the roller coaster and getting ready for the school year ahead. You know, there will be higher heights than you've ever imagined but you can't see the dips that will propel you up and over them. And I, I just have hung on to that since the first time I read it and just, you know, such a profound way to think about the idea of waves or the idea of, you know, dips and heights. And, you know, we have to have the dips in order, you know, to get enough momentum in order to change, right? In order to, to hit that next that next peak. So um, maybe we can kind of all keep that in mind. Uh, here is the next question that came from Kara. She posed this question about transition. Um, she says that I am currently an eighth grade social studies teacher, but transitioning to a technology facilitator in the new year. I'm excited to get started, but sad to be leaving my students mid-year. Uh, how do you handle transitions like this from one semester to the next? Isn't that a great question? That is, that is a great question. And I'm, um, I'm, I'm processing and I'm also doing some time travel. Yeah. Because I've been that teacher. Yeah. And so, uh, I mean, first of all, kudos, yay, congratulations. Yep. All the best. We snap. My, we're snappers. Yeah. <laughs> well, yay. Um, all the best to you um, in, in your transition. And it is really hard. It's really hard to leave your kids because they do become your kids. They right? do. And yep. so we, yep. when we transition mid-year, we, we feel like quitters. No matter where we leave to go, we really feel like if we're not there until the last day of school, yep. it makes us quitters. Yeah. Um, but I, I want to, I want to encourage you um, to make sure that your students understand that just as they're growing and evolving as okay. a teacher, as an educator, you, you owe it to yourself to grow and evolve and really you have to go, down to go up, yeah. right? I have to go down to go up. They, that's okay. exactly right. Um, and also share with them, share with them where you're going, why you're excited. Yeah. Um, and, and, you know, for, to be really practical so that you can sleep at night <laughs> um, go ahead true, and right? just leave at least two weeks of lesson plan. Yeah, you could do that. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah, Absolutely. yeah. I mean, you know, leave, yeah, leave, leave it, leave it ready for the next teacher, whomever's coming there. But also for your kids because you're still taking care of them. You right. won't be there, but but it'll be a way to really take care of them. Right. while you're transitioning. Um, it makes me think about the idea you gave us earlier when you said have the kids teach the expectations. Mm -hmm. You know, what a great, like what a great way to invite that teacher into that transition and to really, you know, turn some of that over to the kids, have the kids teach the expectations of the course, you know, to this new Amazing. teacher. Um, I thought of a couple of things. I thought about really the importance of having some closure. Um, I, I think that it's, you know, you got, you got to celebrate the time that you've had. You've got to celebrate the learning that you've had. Um, I think you do have to give the new teacher a little bit of space, though. Because I think it could be, I, I was actually thinking also about the teacher coming into that classroom, not just the teacher leaving the classroom. Right and how difficult yeah. it can be to come into somebody else's space midterm. Um, we've right. had three student teachers in our department this semester, and it's one of the things that I've noticed, just you know how thoughtful you have to be about transitioning from one teacher to the next. Mm -hmm. um, and then the other thing I really wanted to say mm -hmm. to, the, um, to this teacher, um, to Kara, um, was, is to think of your new role not as leaving the classroom, but having a bigger, different classroom. I think it can be really hard when teachers leave a traditional classroom 
um, to struggle with that guilt and to think maybe they're, you know, they're doing some kind of injustice. Uh, but I also believe this. I also believe that we can teach wherever we go and we can either facilitate and present to other teachers or we can teach mm -hmm. and she can do that. You know, she can still have a classroom wherever she goes. That is so true. That is so true. Very powerful. Um, I, all the best. I, wish, I, I agree. Wish I, all the best. I agree. I agree. Mm -hmm. uh, all right.